Sophisticated context-aware applications often rely on accurate recognition of various user activities. In this project, we focus on the sound produced from different activities that involve the user's neck and mouth. The user produces different sounds when she is eating, drinking, talking, and laughing. Thus, these sounds may contain useful information for inferring user activities. We developed a wearable acoustic sensor called BodyScope. The chest piece of a stethoscope is attached over the microphone embedded in a modified Bluetooth headset. It is designed to be positioned on the side of the user's neck in order to amplify the sound inside the body and eliminate external noises. The body scope sensor is intended to be worn around the neck. This device supports the classification of sounds recorded near the throat rather than what we might normally hear. The two sound quite different. The two sound quite different. We will now show you some of the sounds recorded by the body scope. The sound recorded by the body scope is shown in the spectrogram. When the user is sitting, we can see weak signals below 70 Hz. This cycle consists of two parts, so we believe that it is the heart sound. When the user is taking a deep breath, the body scope can sense the sound of inhaling and exhaling. Eating and drinking are two more activities we are interested in. When the user is eating a crunchy cookie, he produces a sound that is unique to chewing, as shown in the spectrogram. We can also see the swallowing sound at the end of the sequence. Even when the user is eating softer food, in this case soft bread, he still produces a similar chewing sound which can be sampled. Notice, however, that it is weaker than the sound from the previous activity when the user was eating the crunchy cookie. This difference might be useful to distinguish whether the user is eating crunchy or soft food. When the user takes a gulp, a fairly loud sound is produced. The sound of a gulp reaches up to 1500 Hz. When the user is drinking hot beverages, he may sip it. With the body scope, we can see the sipping sound as well as the gulping sound. This sipping sound may be a good way to distinguish whether the user is drinking cold or hot beverages. When the user is speaking, we can see clear harmonics in the sound, which we do not see in body the sounds caused by eating and drinking. Sensor for activity recognition. When the user is whispering, the sound intensity decreases and the harmonics disappear because whispering does not contain voiced sounds. The body scope can also hear the user's whistling. We can clearly see the melody of the whistle between 500 and 1500 Hz. In addition, the body scope can sense the flow of air as seen between 100 and 500 Hz. The body scope can sense other nonverbal activities such as laughing, sighing, and coughing. <laughs> However, through our preliminary research, we found that the spectrograms of these sounds are often similar to other activities, but we are interested in testing how accurately <coughs> the body scope can distinguish them in this project. We used a machine learning technique to classify the sampled sounds. We calculated the zero crossing rate, total spectrum power, subband powers, brightness, spectral roll-off, spectral flux, MELF frequency sepstral coefficients for each sample as the features. We used a support factor machine to perform the classification. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for watching our video on the BodyScope, a wearable acoustic sensor that can be used to accurately detect user activities such as eating, drinking, talking, and laughing.